Welcome back to the next episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. We are here in the quest Maker's End in Faro Automated Solutions. A lot of flaws to this place, huh? Okay. Alright. There's a lot going on here. A lot to learn. Let's explore everything. Look for data points. There's got to be some around here we can scan. Not you. You! R&D lab retooling. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, and then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? Because this jackass knew the machines were going to go wild. And he's like, okay, we better stop that really quick. And didn't bother to tell anyone because he thought he could get a market share out of it. What a piece of garbage. I know I just made a massive assumption, but if I'm wrong, I would be stunned. I cannot believe... What you got back here? Supply crate! Why is there Ridgewood in a supply crate in here, guys? The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Okay, you want me to go this way, so first what's this way? Absolutely something. Absolutely something. Hey there. Oh, there's definitely something in here. I just need to find it. Not you. Can't carry more. Why are there health potions in here? I have some serious question about the game design that led to what potions come in here. Really? No scannable data points in here? Huh. That's... Annoying. Alright, back up we go. I feel like I'm missing something there, but there was nothing, so... What are you gonna do? All right. Oh, and here's can, another. But I could get through. But first, RE complaint from J. Friedkin, Friedkin to reception. Subject RE complaint. Hey reception, if that is your real name, want to know who scheduled Indo Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, senior VP of sales. Want to know why? After that little hair pulling incident. Both sides increased their bids by 40%. I'll explain, because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting. And what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other. So they will try to fight each other with what? That's right again, combat machines, which way they will pay us a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch. Mr. Fredkin, to you. You... God, everyone is such a jackass! Wow, I'm mad! God, I hate corporations. Oh, I'm okay. Be cool, Aloy. Be cool. Oh, hello. I can climb here. But should I? Huh. 
I don't see a reason why we climbed up here. Yeah, let's hit the down low. I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Oh, we're down here now. Okay. That's fine then. In that case, climb away. Where to from here? Dunno. Oh. That works. Hey, what you got in there? Can't tell. Amazing! Alright, where's that thing I couldn't get? It's up there. How do I... That's how. It's probably just a supply crate, but I have to check. Why? Ah, uh, no reason. No, no reason that you guys need to know that I might... I mean, I don't know anything about the plot. I'll, I'll like, confess that right away. No plot. But I do know... There is something here for me. That I know. So we're gonna go get it. We are going to go and get it. Alright, Aloy, let's move. Let's go. Let's go. No falling down this time like an idiot. I know that was my fault and not yours. Listen, I'm the idiot. Alright, that's the way forward. So let's see what's around this way. Hey there. FAS campus log. FAS campus security log. High priority alert. Automated log note. All non-essential systems have entered hibernation. Full lockdown has been initiated. Due to the increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAS employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we have taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding proper procedure for archiving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. HiSec and a crisis team will then conduct exit review before all areas are locked down. Priority messaging to all staff in E and F blocks. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the buildings. A reminder that while high-sec personnel remain committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personal firearms must be relinquished when presenting for identity scan. Additional public access roads en route to the campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cordons. HiSec reminds all staff that the campus remains off-limit to the public. Following recent campus security issues, all staff are reminded that presenting for identity scan and displaying your security badge prominently at all times for image analytics are both mandatory. In light of recent acts of terrorism directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a Big Brother initiative to accompany staff traveling from off-site. Sign-up is required and strongly encouraged. 48 more entries in high priority, additional entries corrupted. You all have been unpopular! People were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Spiritual Summit. From Ted Faro to Paula Vasara. Subject, Spiritual Summit. Paula, recent events have sharpened my perspective. And I think that I, and FAS in general, have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. Not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon. Very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent, no kooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make it clear we'll spare no expense. Thanks, Ted. Okay, your name was Ellen, not Paula. Just checking. Anything about that, Aloy? Not really. Alright, so that's where we came in from. Yep, yep. So around this way we have...
A new hologram. The BOR7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing key. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? Huh. I thought that was a cauldron's activator. But no. No. Hmm. Getting concerned. So this is the metal devil, huh? Yeah, I'm nervous about that. So what? I'm allowed to be nervous about this situation. Alright, let's take a scout around, make sure we're not missing any data points. If I miss any data points in here, I will be disappointed with myself. Because I am doing my best to spot them all. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more in here, though. Neon, if you know I'm missing any notable data points, make, make sure to let me know. Drop me down here. Wait, where is this? This is the central zone. This is where I came in from. Wait, how did I get that tender? No, this can't be where I came in from, can it? If this is where I came in from, then what is this? Something different. I see. Well, there's absolutely nothing in here, so it didn't actually matter at all. Okay. Let's move. You scan the other two in the center. Center? The ACA3 scan oh, thank you. combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or, control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. Thank you, Neon. 
Make sure I don't miss stupid stuff like that. If I missed both of those, I would have been so mad. Let's climb then, Aloy. Oh yeah, going high. All right, here is our next point. Gonna be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Doctor Sobek. Crazy lens. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, guess I can too. Up we go. Making sure I'm not missing anything as I climb up. Getting goosebumps. Come on, Aloy. Not even that cold. Yeah, but we're freaking out, Aloy. Since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now, I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us, against this company, in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming, when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Yeah, I'm... I'm not surprised why this is the way it is, but I am annoyed by it. Rich meat up here for some reason. Really should not be having these chests up here, guys. Alright, let's keep climbing. It's a good climb, though. I gotta admit that. Fast travel packs, somehow. Hmm. No, that's nothing. Keep on climbing. made that. I would have been a nasty fool if I hadn't. Alright, all hands on deck. From Gordon Nakata to Gina Zierman. All hands on deck. Gina, ever hear of the Melville Islands Fruit Association? Neither had I, until they filed suit against us this morning. Apparently there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia, population 2700, all of whom hate us, now that a stray Hearts Timor unit is chowing down on their largest mango orchid. That brings the official count of Heart Timor related lawsuits to 127. Most of them from private companies, but also a bunch from individuals, nations, sta nation states, and NGOs. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from Hearts itself. Call every external firm we've ever used, then call their competitors. We're going to need every corporate defense lawyer we can find who's still half sober and on the bar. Gordon Nakata, Associate General Counsel, FAS. You're screwed up so bad! 
So amazing. Hmm. I'm missing this one. I don't know where it is. I've already decided. When it comes to all the data points I've missed, we're going to go on a world tour to collect them after finishing the game. My final episodes of this series will be me collecting this stuff. So anyone interested in it can watch that and anyone not interested can skip it easily. That's how I'm doing. Woo! That was a jump. The music's building. I'd have to ditch something. Nearly at the top now. Shock trap. Why is a shock trap up here? Good question. Clearly not a question I'm going to get an answer to ever. I'm just scouting my surroundings, just to be sure. Oh boy. Nearly here, huh? Oops. Wait, can I just... Oh, cool. Alright. I don't know why the music cut out again. I was really enjoying the build-up. But... Whatevs. We're going this way first because of reasons. Obviously we want to clear out everything before the main plot. So let's just head down here and see what's down here. This might just be the main way out. Huh. I guess the lift doors opened when I wasn't paying attention. This is clearly just the easy way out, so let's head back up. Oh, it's a real climb up this thing, huh? So that's where I came in from. There is nothing here. That isn't a thing. Here's a data point. The Banda Sea incident. Okay. From Stacy Anders to Robert Rescher. Subject, Dolphin Vid. Bob. Another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured video of a Hearts Timor Horus unit refueling via biomatter conversion along the shoreline of Palau Wetar, on a pod of endangered dolphins, no less. Quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender, as if the robot was whipping up a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. 
Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating, so it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. Stacey Anders, VP, PR, FAS. Man, I would not want to work for public relations for FAS at this point. Good God. In general, I wouldn't want to work for FAS. My way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. Top floor. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Uh, we're gonna climb this first for reasons. All the way up. All the way up. Sup, babe. Good. Another power cell. If I find more, I should be able to get to that engineer I found. That's the thing. And I know the remaining two power cells are also in ruins of mainline quests. I don't remember what their names are, or where they are, or how to get them. I just know they're in mainline quests. We'll keep our eyes open. Data points? Nope. Okay. Hey there. That data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. Thank you. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Yeesh. The Faro robots friend all life on earth but somehow she defeated them the world of the old ones fell but life went on or, or we wouldn't be here 
A final file has been recovered. Thank you. Project Zero Dawn. <clears throat> Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. No one has ever screwed up that badly. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift Thank you. What is the Zero Dawn? We absolutely must know. That is twice I have heard about the Zero Dawn now. Oh, I want to know. So much. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. What's the Horizon Dawn? You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobeck woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. Wow! If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... 
Life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Yes. Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? God, I am. Yes, I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no, I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, silence. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is complicated. Oh yeah, I missed my main point. Hades is definitely an AI. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You're relying on me. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. 
But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil. Been there! B.O.R. 7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. <laughs> Alright, so, map, map, map. Hey. Boop, boop. Okay, way over here, and... Boop! You remember I went here once, and I couldn't make my way in? So that's a thing now? The quest after that will no doubt take me up here. Things are popping so much. Three skill points, please and thank you, fighting back. Not much longer now. Not much. Well, getting longer. down will be a lot faster than getting up here at least. New the main quest. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Oh yes. I am super intrigued now. I know I spent so, so unbelievably long just wandering the world and doing quests. But the plot time has officially begun and it's going to get wild. I can't spare the weight. All right, let's follow the way down. I did know this is based in Colorado, actually. I knew you'd be pleased with that. It's heavy. Right. The world's going away. Anyone out here got a complaint about my actions? Didn't think so. Alright, well, I am going to go hit up a save point, and you are going to see me in the next episode. All this Shadow Carja realm still exists to explore, and we will explore it in due time. But for now, I'm very much on a plot kick. So, let's go do plot things. Thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time for the Grave Horde. Bye-bye.